Welcome to Felt the Food. I'm Phoebe, the maker of the original DIY kit that allows you to begin making felt food today. Join me in the craft kitchen for today's make. Today in the craft kitchen, we are making a charcuterie board that you can take on the go. We are making a wheel of brie with a slice of cheese. In your kit, you will find your wheel of brie pattern and slice of cheese along with the coordinating thread. Using the thread shown, remove and cut roughly half of the thread. Carefully divide the thread so that you have only two strands. Here's a pro tip. Go slowly and carefully. Untwist as you divide. Thread your needle by gently inserting the thread through the eye of the needle and pulling your thread through about halfway. In one hand, you will have your needle, and in the other, you will have the longest end of your thread. Using your needle, take the strands and divide so that you have only one thread. Holding firmly, wrap all of your thread around three times. Hold on to the knot and pull it all the way until you get back to the end. We will start by attaching the inside piece of the brief first to the wheel. I find this makes things a little easier. We will be using the blanket stitch to attach these two pieces. To begin your blanket stitch, you will insert your needle through the back pattern. Now go through the top pattern and run your needle through the pattern to create the start of your blanket stitch. Put your needle down and watch again as I do this. This is the start of your blanket stitch. Your next stitch will go through both pieces again and before securing, you will go back through the loop. Again, feel free to put your needle down and watch as I do this. Pro tip. Use your finger as a guide for how far to come down each stitch. You'll notice that this is something I'm doing as well. If you get confused, put your needle down and watch as I do it. You will need to cut a little of your excess fabric. This is known as your allowance. Please make sure you cut in a straight line, not a curve. Now it's time to add the edge of your wheel of three. We're still gonna be using the ivory thread, so it's important that you only attach the piece that connects to the ivory piece of felt. Watch what I'm doing to make sure you understand what I mean. We're going to attach this using the blanket stitch. On your last stitch, make your final loop and before securing, hold onto the loop and wrap the needle around three times, going through the loop one final time to make a knot. Hold the knot to ensure the knot is as close to the pattern as possible. Feel free to put your needle down and watch as I do this. Repeat the blanket stitch until you have attached the top and bottom of your brie pattern. You will need to cut a little of your excess fabric. This is known as your allowance. Please make sure you cut in a straight line, not a curve.
Repeat the blanket stitch until you have attached the top and bottom of your brief pattern. time to begin adding your fill. Make sure that you are filling the corners as well. You may have to do this more than once. Changing your thread back to ivory, it's time to stitch the final piece together. Pro tip, use your pins to hold your felt in place. On your last stitch, make your final loop and before securing, hold onto the loop and wrap the needle around three times, going through the loop one final time to make a knot. Hold the knot to ensure the knot is as close to the pattern as possible. 